You know, there's nothing better than sitting here in the middle of the night, walking on your own pathway. I mean, really, it's very useful. Although, you know, at times, I do kind of wish you didn't have to jump. Although, the sheep really doesn't seem to have any problem with it. Until I said something about it. Okay. You know, if only there was something that Notch added to let you walk up blocks without having to jump. Uh, ignore this. You know, this kind of looks like stairs. This doesn't. But let's let's see what the block does before I judge it too harshly. So Well it tries to be stairs. Um I've seen more successful attempts, however. But you know what? I'll take it. We've got stairs. And you know what? You know what would be even cooler than some stone stairs? Let's see here. Oh yeah. We got wooden stairs. Just as janky as the stone ones, don't worry. Anyways, hi, hello, I'm the Impending Moon, and welcome to Minecraft InfDev 2010-06-30-2, aka Minecraft Alpha 1.0.0. And yep, that's it. Transitioning from InfDev to Minecraft Alpha, we got stairs. And that's it. That's it. What, you expected something like fanfare? You know, um, a message from Notch or something? No. But I mean, stairs are pretty cool, I guess. Also, yes, I have been working on the minecart tracks, and I've even got the station down to what it will eventually be. Right now, this doesn't actually do anything. It just sort of pushes minecarts along without speeding them up. So, uh, yeah, it's really not useful, but it's there for when it will be useful. But anyway, since uh, this update doesn't add any new generation, new ores, or new structures, I guess I might as well build my own structures and do some work here at home. And in order to build these structures, I've gone and done some resource gathering. And by that I mean I have gathered 38 buckets of lava. But I figure for what I'm going to build, I might as well go ahead and take all the resources I'm going to need down there right away, just so that I'm not bobbing back up and down here. And here's the part where I realize that I made none of the glass that I intended to. So, uh... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna put the whole building this thing on hold for now as I wait for my resources to actually finish. I guess for now I can transport my 38 buckets of lava, though. You know, I was gonna sit here and wait for all this to finish, but I'm way too lazy for that, so I'm just gonna pick it all up and take what I got. Hmm, yes, a balanced diet. Anyway, I've got some cobblestone, and, um, hmm. As good a place as any to start. And because apparently I'm just in a circular mood these days, I am making a circle. Alright, and with all that done, I have a circle. And now, I'm going to put the base on the circle, so that it's not just floating. Alright, great. Anyways, more circle. And don't worry, I do have a plan for this. But right now that plan just kind of consists of, uh, build circles. And would you look at this? I'm building a smaller circle inside of the circle. That was very in sync, I guess. And don't worry guys, here's where the cool part is. You see, now I'm building with wood inside of the circle, so that there's a floor. And, of course, it's another wooden circle. And then I start building up more walls. And with these walls done, I can hop back down here. And, would you look at that? It's the start of a tower! And I will eventually build an entrance to this thing, but for now, I guess, uh... I'll just jump on the block and remove it behind me so that the animals don't try to get up. And if you thought it was time for me to build another circle, you are almost right. 
It's actually time for me to grab some more resources. No, don't ask me why I've got diamonds stored in here, I don't remember either. And of course, it takes me building an entire second floor wall to realize that I haven't even put in the floor, and I've messed up the wall. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's just a normal day. And before any monsters spawn, I feel like I should probably throw down some torches and stuff. And then there's the second floor done. And now, you know, I could top it off with like a roof or something. Or I could go build another circle. And with a third floor wall almost done, here is the part where I once again realize that building costs resources. And sometimes a lot more than you might expect. But it is looking pretty cool. I'll give it that. It'll look cooler once all the glass and stuff is in. Hmm. Yeah, from up here this is looking cool too. So that means I am doing something well. And with some extra resources gathered, here's the third floor. It's a bit shorter than the others, but I think it still works. So, now that I have the main room layout done, I have a few options of what I could do next. So I could either go ahead and do some decoration on the outer walls here, because I think some slabs would definitely help the transition between floors. Or I could use those 38 buckets of lava. Well, I'd say I should probably get some stuff built before I risk falling into lava. So I'm going to get the extra decoration out of the way. And you know, I probably also could put the entrance down right here, because this is where I want it. But I'm kind of lazy and that'll take some time. So I'm going to keep working on this, because I've already started. So I might as well finish. Alright, let's see how this looks. Okay, get some distance away. Get a nice vantage point, and... Yep, that's working out pretty well. I'll have to figure out something for the roof, but for right now, yeah, I'm happy with those slabs. They definitely break up the different floors and make it so that it's not just one big texture. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to put in the entrance before I actually put in the lava, just so that I've got a way up and down that's not jumping through what's going to be a window. Well, the pigs seem to like my building, so, um, cool, I guess. Anyway, yes, it's finally time to use some stairs, because if you haven't been paying attention to what I've been building, I haven't used any yet. Alright, now let's see, is this gonna break, or be weird in general? The answer so far is looking to be yes, of course it is. Uh, well, I suppose there is an easy fix, and that's just to, uh, not have these extra stairs here. And hope that I can fix the stairs by updating this. Hmm. Old mechanics are weird, guys. Uh. What? I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, okay. So I guess stairs can just occasionally turn into blocks of wood. Well, whatever. I can just keep these stairs and use these somewhere else. For now, um, this is just not going to have stairs on the edges, even though that would look a bit better, because it just breaks. But hey, I can actually get up. And yes, now that I've been, I guess, taunting long enough, I'm actually going to use the blocks of lava. And, of course, I figure, what's a better use of lava than just having a big old pit in the ground that's filled with it? So, if I go ahead and uh, clear out my inventory somewhat, I can then fill it with lava and not give lava to the pigs. I would rather not have to deal with that. And I suppose be uh, slowly pushed into the water in what I can only assume is an attempted drowning. And uh, I guess just sit here and uh, start pouring in some lava. And you know, maybe I shouldn't have had literally all of my items on me at this point. But it's a little bit late to turn back, so uh, 
And with this last bucket of lava, I can very easily go and have a pretty nice little pool of lava. Now, I didn't need all the lava, obviously, but just in case it misplaces, I did want to have some. But before any accidents happen, I am going to cover that with glass so I don't touch it. And I guess since I have glass out, I might as well start filling in some of these windows. Also, maybe, you know, get this lava out of my inventory before I have it in my hotbar and something happens with it. And then building the roof should be no issue. Just go out with some slabs and constantly make circles inwards until you hit the top and take fall damage. And of course, you can always top it off with glass to have a little sunroof. Although now you do kind of have to figure out how to get off, and the best way is usually just to jump into water. And hey, this thing is looking pretty nice. I don't know if the pigs agree or not, I think they're having an argument, but if I go out here again... Yeah, I mean, especially once I get all the glass in, and what I'm thinking of doing with this second floor here is to kind of, I don't know, bring it up over here, I guess, because that's another way to use stairs is to drag it up over here, and then I can connect it to this pathway, and yada yada yada. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So let me put on some finishing touches, and then I can get started on the pathway. Alright, so let's see. How do I want to do this? I don't think I want to go up immediately, because that kind of brings my head into contact with that a bit more than I'd like. So I'm going to go one out like this, and realize that I didn't actually make any stairs. Uh, remember that stair placement is kind of annoying, but I'm going to keep going anyway. That actually looks not bad, even if it isn't very practical in a building sense. And, you know, again, as impractical as this is, it does kind of look cool. Or at least it would if it had a bit more shading, but eh, I can live with that. And I guess I'm just going to put a little archway right over here. Alright, so back up, take a look at how that looks, and uh, this one, this side needs to be thicker. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Um, you know what I could do? I could actually push these two up one more. Alright, now that looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. So, now that I've got this built, I might as well connect up the pathways here. And maybe uh, recover a little bit of health from when I took the fall damage. Alright, and with this connected up, I would say it's kind of got a purpose. It's really just another way of getting to this, which on its own, nah, it's just there to look cool. And look cool it does. Yeah. So, I'm pretty fine with that. And since I'm already fixing up the pathways over here, I figure I might as well go fix up a few other pathways that I've kind of been neglecting. That includes this pathway, and the pathway up to the pig spawner. Yeah, uh... Sorry, but one block is not going to cut it anymore, my good old bridge. I should not break that block. Okay, so this one's going to take a little bit more planning. So, I should be able to take some cobblestone like this. If I go kind of like that here, kind of make a W shape. Yeah, I should be able to go ahead and just have something like this? I don't know. Let's see. I am kind of winging this, and if I remember correctly, diagonal bridges aren't as easy as you might expect, but it shouldn't be terribly difficult from what I remember. It is if you take fall damage, but that's my own fault. Nope. It wasn't as difficult as I was trying to make it out to be, although it is a little bit wider than I was kind of hoping for. But I mean, I guess it's just as easy as taking a pickaxe to one side, and that kind of takes care of itself. Okay, so this feels a bit better. Um, do I want to spend wood on making edges? I do have a good chunk of it, so I don't see why not. 
Yep, with the wood and torches added, this looks pretty alright. I've got a feeling it's not going to look as good from the underside, but I can always just change that later. Right now, my main focus is on the actual pathway. So, hmm. Don't want to keep the cliff. That's going to make me take massive fall damage if I don't get rid of it. Well, you know, I'm going to come to that when I get to it. So, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and take the pathway over to here. Uh, fine, I suppose that I will actually add a little border around here. Because I've already almost fallen off once while building this. So, um, yeah, this will work. And then, yeah, so the pig farm has a pathway to it. I'll connect it on this side, and then that's taken care of. Alright, and that's done. And I guess while I'm improving the area, I might as well take down this house. Because, honestly, eh. There's a reason why you haven't repaired it after I kind of jokingly broke it that one time. And it's because it just doesn't look that good. So, goodbye house. You'll eventually be replaced. Maybe built somewhere else. I don't know. And no, I never did patch up the hole or fix the wall. Because, why would I? I thought the house was there to stay. But it wasn't. So, I guess I should probably actually do those now. There we are. And I think that's looking a lot better than it was. And you know, since I cut down all those trees for building, uh, this place is actually kind of looking a bit barren. So I think I'm going to grab some saplings and plant them around the place. And I guess worst case scenario, I've got some more wood that I need to collect. And trust me, I have no shortage of saplings to plant. And I don't even think I'm going to get through one stack, but just in case, I'll keep this one. And yeah, the underside of this bridge does not look the best. Eh, it's nothing I'm going to worry about too much. And instead, I'm just going to plant some trees beneath those, and hopefully it'll just cover it up. Oh, and another pathway that I should probably do. Eh, I'll get around to it eventually. Oh hey, it's my first little coal digging spot. That's cool. Put a tree there. Alright, so I was right to grab those two stacks of saplings, and since there's no such thing as bone meal in this game, um, I guess I get to wait for all these trees to grow. <sighs> this is gonna be a long, however much time it's going to take for all these to grow. I even have this nice little vantage point that I made for myself. You know, with terrain changes, I do eventually plan on expanding outwards, aside from having this base throughout the entire series. But one time, I'm gonna come back to my base and just see chests like this lying around, and wonder what in the world I was doing at the time. And honestly, I'm all for it, so that's why I'm not cleaning up these chests. Watch this end up being one of the versions where saplings don't actually grow. Huh. <sighs> Wouldn't that be funny? Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and wait for one of these trees to grow. It could be 10 minutes, it could be an hour. I'm probably not gonna sit an hour, so. All right, it's been five minutes and we've got some trees that have grown, so. Let's take a closer look at them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Yep. I can 100% confirm that this is probably a tree. Great. Anyway, so I'll leave the rest of these to keep growing. And, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll throw up a screenshot of when they're all done, since I'm not going to sit here and record all of this, because there's other stuff that I can be doing. And, uh, yeah, I think I have done pretty well here. Anyway, this here is where I'm going to call it. 
Sorry about having probably a shorter and a little bit more boring episode than usual, but I mean, what else are you supposed to do when the only addition is stairs? But don't worry, next episode is going to be absolutely... I was gonna say fantastic, but interesting is the word that I'll use. Well, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed. I've been the Impending Moon, and good night.